What is inside sales? You asked me, so I'm going to answer on this episode of the Inside BS Show. Hi, I'm Dave Lorenzo. This is the show that takes you inside business strategy, shares all the insider business secrets with you. Today, we're answering your question, what is inside sales? And this is a really easy question to answer, but I'm going to give you five steps to success with inside sales. In addition, I'm also going to share a huge secret with you at the end of our time together today. And that secret will make your life a lot easier, whether you're an inside salesperson or you're a sales manager working with an inside sales team. So be sure and stay with me all the way to the end of the video for that secret of success. Okay. Let's talk about inside sales. Let me give you the five steps to a great inside sales career. First and foremost, inside sales is about outreach. So you're reaching out to people that you think would be great clients for the business. So if you're in inside sales in a software company, what you're going to do is you're going to look at your list of clients and you're going to say, all right, these 20 clients, these are ideal. These are the best possible clients for our company. And the reason is because they have been with us for a long time. They operate at a very high level. They invest in our services deeply and they stay with us year in and year out. It's predictable recurring revenue. These are people who we want to emulate. We want more clients just like these people. So as an inside salesperson, you're going to look for people who are just like your best clients. So how do you do that? You find your best clients, you go to the industry and you look for their competitors. And then you're going to reach out to the competitors of your best clients via telephone, via email, on social media, on LinkedIn. What you're doing is you're reaching out just to start to initiate a new relationship. That's one of the main purposes of inside sales. Your job is to identify great prospective clients and then reach out to them in any way you can other than showing up on their doorstep. So telephone, email, social media, particularly LinkedIn. The second element of inside sales is that there is no travel. I mentioned to you that you're not going to reach out by showing up on their doorstep. But what you can do is you can reach out to them with a piece of educational information. I call that a honeypot. You can offer them a checklist or a white paper or a free report. Or you can offer them an invitation to a webinar that's going to educate them. You can offer them an invitation to a live event that will help them understand what they're facing in the industry and the problems that you can potentially solve for them. So your outreach is not only aggressive, but it's also in a very cordial, inviting way that gets them to come to you and you don't have to leave your home or your office in order to reach out to them. That's why the term inside is part of inside sales. You stay inside when you're doing your outreach. The third element of inside sales is that you are strategic. So you're going to design a process to introduce your company, your services, and the value you provide to the decision maker in the prospect company. Now, this may be entirely up to you. Your company may have a system or a process in place, but it's your job as an inside salesperson to create a strategy that's going to get the door open so that you can make that connection. Now, depending on your company and depending on your sales process, you may introduce the company, make that connection, and then it may be your job to try and close the deal. But most likely, it's not your job to close. It's your job to open. And then you introduce an account executive, an outside salesperson, or, or a, I mean, they're, they're called account executives, outside salespeople. They're called uh, representatives. They're called, in consulting, they're called partners. In a law firm, they may be called a partner or a managing partner. You're going to introduce the person that closes the deal. So... For inside sales, the strategic element generally falls on you. You get the door open, then the account executive or the partner comes in and closes the deal. The fourth element of an inside sales position is that you're starting a relationship. You're initiating a relationship. Now, 
The start of a relationship could take five minutes or it could take five years. I've worked with some really good inside salespeople who are tenacious and persistent, and they worked on accounts for three, four, five years before the client would agree to a meeting with an account executive. So as an inside salesperson, you're constantly juggling, you got a lot of balls in the air, and you're trying to initiate these relationships depending on whether the person has a problem or not, or whether they have sufficient pain, they may work with you immediately, or it may take years and years and years for them to work with you. And as an inside salesperson, because relationships are your business, you're gonna stick with this and continue to press forward to try and develop that relationship. That's part of the really important process of inside sales. Now, in step five, or the fifth thing that I can share with you on inside sales, I'm gonna share with you what the best inside sales representatives do. They do three things. The best inside sales reps educate, they agitate, and they differentiate. Now let me break that down for you. Let me explain what each means. So they educate the prospect on what the industry looks like and the pressures that they're facing. Sometimes prospects don't know what's coming around the corner. They don't know what's in the future. So the inside sales rep will, will provide educational material, will do some education to help the prospect see just how dire their situation is or what opportunities lie ahead for them if they take advantage of what the inside sales rep has to offer now. That education process could be educating on the industry. It could be educating on economic conditions and how they're going to impact the prospect's company. It could be educating them on how to make a decision to hire a company like your company. It could be educating them on competitive advantages for working with your team using your products or services to make more money. Education is the first element. The second element is agitation. Now you're saying to yourself, well, Dave, if they want a relationship, why are they agitating the prospect? Well, they're not antagonizing and poking their finger at the prospect, no. What they're doing is they're highlighting the pain that the prospect has shared with them. And then the inside sales rep says, Mr. Prospect, I understand this issue is critical for you and if you don't get it resolved, it could cost you the entire company. I understand. I've seen that happen to many people and I want to be able to help you, but you really gotta get your arms around this thing soon or you're gonna be in a world of hurt. That's agitation. You're not focusing on ag aggravating the person, but you're taking the issue and you're helping them understand how urgent it is to solve the problem now. That agitation process stirs up the urgency. And that's the second thing that a great inside salesperson does. The third and final thing that a great inside salesperson does is they differentiate your service from everyone else who does what you do. A great inside salesperson will share the competitive advantage that your company has and use that competitive advantage to set up the meeting. And then once the meeting takes place with the outside sales rep, with the account executive, they'll pass that information along to the account executive and the account executive can hammer home the differentiating factor that the inside sales rep brought up. It is successful, highly successful, when an inside sales rep does such a good job of educating, agitating, and differentiating that when the account executive meets with the prospect, the prospect says to the account executive, I really need to work with you because if I don't solve this problem now, it's gonna cost me. I understand what's going on in the industry and we're in dire straits here and you're the right person to work with because you do this better than anyone else. I've been in meetings where the prospect said that to me and it's a tribute to my inside sales team when the prospect tells me that information because all I have to do is come in, hand them a pen, and they're ready to sign on a dotted line. All right, now we're at the point in our time together where I'm gonna share with you the secret to success as an inside sales rep. I mean, I've given you so much great information. What could be the secret to success here? This is it, you ready? Write this down. Follow a system for your inside sales process and you will win every time. Now. Don't worry, you don't have to create the system yourself. I've got the system for you. Scroll down into the description of this video. You'll see there a free gift from Dave and there's a, a website right there 
that says revenueroadmapguide.com, revenueroadmapguide.com. Click on that link or put that link in your browser. Go there right now. You will be able to download my entire system for inside sales success. Even if you're an account executive, you're an outside sales rep, you can use this system too. Work with your inside salesperson on this system. It will draw people to you magnetically. Work with your inside sales rep if you're an outside sales rep and vice versa. This system will draw people to you like a magnet. It'll draw your prospects and you'll never have to wonder where your next deal is gonna come from. Download that guide right now. It's my free gift to you. If you wanna be even more successful at inside sales, Scroll down below this video right now. You'll see it filling in right below me. There's another video for you, the inside sales rep. Use it right now. I can't wait to see you in our next video.